The cost of housing always a top hot topic, and the bill's author believes rent is too high for people who are already struggling to make ends meet. If we set wage floors, we set interest rates for Wall Street, and we do set rent in pretty much every other high-cost jurisdiction across the U.S., and Hawaii is late to the party. Representative Kaniela Ng says rent controls would be a pilot project in five house districts around the state. Landlords would be able to charge no more than 30 percent of the median income in those areas. Most uh, financial advisors would say do not spend more than 30 percent of your income on housing. Um, that's the only way it can be affordable. Um, so that's what this bill is based on. That landlords cannot charge more than that. A recent study ranked Honolulu 99th out of 100 metropolitan areas in the U.S. for rental affordability. In Hawaii, experts say most of us are spending 50 percent of our take-home pay on housing. But some real estate experts are skeptical about rent control, saying it could discourage landlords and actually reduce the amount of affordable housing. Why should I rent? I'll just sell it and uh, I'll let somebody else do it. And that's not that might help, but it might not help. Despite demand, the state says only about 1,000 affordable rentals have been added to the market over the past two years. That number falls far short of the 64,000 new housing units that experts say we'll need by 2025. Nearly a third of those need to be affordable. Some say rent controls could work, but only if rents are still allowed to go up. The mechanism of rent control is how you let rents rise. And will you allow them to rise commensurately with costs. The legislature is also looking at a plan to use bonds to borrow two billion dollars to pay for development of thousands of affordable rentals on state land. Ben Gutierrez, Hawaii News Now.